Sarah, thank you. A federal civil rights lawsuit is how the family of Amantic Bradford Jr. is marking the one year anniversary of his death. They filed that today. Bradford was shot and killed by a Hoover police officer at the Galleria Mall on Thanksgiving night last year. CBS 42 News reporter Corey McGinnis joins us now after speaking. Ending a rally in the 21 year old's honor. Corey. Yes, yeah, Sherry, good evening. Well, E.J. Bradford's parents are still on a mission to seek justice for their son, E.J. Bradford Jr. Tonight, I sat down with both parents, uh, and they both tell me that they have a strong message for the city of Hoover. I'm a, I'm a hateful father right now. Gripped with resentment and anger. Very hateful towards them. You know, I, ain't hate, I hate the one that pulled the trigger and that percentage that want to ride with him. E.J. Bradford's parents are still heartbroken. This comes just hours after they filed a federal lawsuit against Hoover police and city officials in the 2018 shooting death of their son, E.J. Bradford Jr., on the first anniversary of his death. So I'm going to sink that boat with you, your mayor, your chief police, and your city council. Bradford was shot and killed by a Hoover police officer after mistaking him for a person who fired shots at the River Chase Gallery Mall. This is actually sending out a message. April Pipkins, Bradford's mother, hopes the lawsuit will bring change and awareness. We see black and brown people all across the nation going through similar situations. So this hopefully will send out a message that we're tired of you killing our children. And it's not just the holidays that are difficult for this mother, it's every day. Our life will never be the same, you know, period. And as the family continues to seek justice and change, community members stand by E.J. Bradford's side. We also have to remember him and honor him in our protests. That's right. You heard right. Community members plan to pick up protests soon. When? We're not sure yet as of right now, but we will stay on top of this story. Live in Hoover tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office eventually took over the investigation into the Bradford shooting death. Marshall later ruled the shooting was justified, determining the officer did not commit a crime under Alabama law. We sat down with Steve Marshall to discuss this case a year later. Uh, and we not only sort of outline the facts, but also the applicable law and feel very strongly that we did exactly what the law requires us to do in this case and that our investigation was not only thorough, but it was also uh, correct both legally and factually as it related to our conclusion. There's more.